So here is a uh, circuit that I built. It is a uh, traffic light timer. And it's roughly based on one out of a textbook, Digital Fundamentals by Thomas L. Floyd, 10th edition. Uh, mine is slightly different. Uh, the, the book, they want you to have like a side sensor that gets triggered. I didn't like that, so I added this one where you'll see here that both lights go red for a second and then to the green. Uh, that keeps it as a six state um, cycle and um, one cycle or one state just triggers the next and basically then the only clocking is that done by the one shots 555 is down here and if you want to change anything you just change you know capacitor or resistor in that uh, this is by far the most complicated uh, circuit I've ever breadboarded out or designed. Um, there's 19 ICs in it, and at first I was uh, I was trying to get really slick with the uh, with the jumper work, and then I just I gave up because it was taking too much time and. I actually kind of learned that doing jumper work like this does not really behoove you in any way. It um, it just covers so many holes. Um, if I had to actually get in there and pull something out to change something, it would be a gigantic pain in the butt. So going forward, I'm just going to stick with the rat's nest method uh, because at least you can get in there and you know switch stuff out and pull stuff and you know work on it. Um, miraculously, when I turned this thing on, there was just two wires that were uh, crossed up, and it was obvious which ones they were. So I was able to flip them, and, and this thing worked right out of the gate, which um, has pretty much never happened for me. <laughs> um, what else? This is, I'll show you the schematic for it. It's kind of cool. It's, uh, the flip-flop logic and the uh, light logic, the timer, timers. Like I said, this thing has no clock. Um, so yeah, there you go. I just wanted to prove that this thing existed and uh, that it worked. Pretty damn proud of this thing. <laughs>